Hey Gemini, what's up, what's up, what's up? So, welcome to your reading. Someone out here is holding back their emotions, trying their best to stay as logical, as rational, as a head over heart that they can. And But they have clarity here. Someone could be waiting for clarity out here, which is why they're holding back their emotions. Or someone just feels it's best to hold back emotions and stay more logical and uh, not give in to emotions. And not get very emotionally overwhelmed. Whatever. All right. Uh, Gemini. This is for Gemini. What is Gemini's overall love life? Give me three thoughts for Gemini's love life for the overall month of November 2021. Gemini's love life, please. This is for Gemini's love life for the overall month of November 2021. Okay. Let's do this. <clears throat> Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Overall, eight of wands here. Lot of communication coming in, bro. Lot of communication coming in. Gemini's for uh, most of you, if there is no communication happening right now, communication is gonna come in. First week of November is what I'm getting. Like that. Like whoosh from nowhere, you know, you're gonna see DMs from your ex. I don't know why I said ex because I saw the Queen of Swords here. So this is from your ex and I also saw seven of, seven of swords here. So anyways, this is going to be from your ex. This is someone who's sneaky, deceptive, someone who keeps running away from commitment, someone here who uh, probably um, sells you a lot but doesn't uh, follow up or someone who's just very bad at, um, you know, who they only uh, talk the talk, they don't walk the walk. If you get what I'm saying, that's the kind of person you're dealing with. Someone here who probably has a lot of love and emotions for you, but uh, the, that, that's a kind of a, um, a coward, okay, when it comes to giving you something stable, committed, blah, 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 whatever that is, okay. A lot of communication coming in. Your love life is going to pick up very, very drastically. Like things are going to move forward pretty quickly, okay. Out of nowhere here. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. But there's a lot of communication back and forth. All right. Let's see. The first card you have is boom. The sun here. A happily ever after. Okay. Now this is not that. Come on. Focus. Oh. All right. So with the sun card here, what I'm getting here is that there is happiness, <clears throat> joy. Uh, but most of all, I feel that if something was hidden, right, or if there was no communication, you were giving each other the silent treatment or whatever it is, right? <clears throat> Overall, I see clarity. The truth is going to be revealed. Whatever was hidden, it's all going to come out in the open here. If you are single, then uh, you're going to be very happy. You could be traveling to a warm place or you could just be okay on your own. You're just very happy, fulfilled emotionally, whatever it is. If you're waiting for someone in communication with you, okay, the communication is coming in and that communication could be giving you a lot of clarity out here and it's going to give you a lot of happiness, joy, etc. Okay, if you're dating here, then your relationship could be moving to the next level here or you're just overall going to be very happy here. Let's see who is this for. Clarify the sun here, please. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun card here. <coughs> Whoa, 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 Knight of Cups, we do have a love offer coming in for you, okay? This could be an apology. This could be someone here who is coming um, right back at you, trying to sweep you off your feet. Uh, yes, the Knight of Cups is a very romantic energy, someone who's emotionally going to, uh, you know, like swirl those emotions back into your life out here if you're single <clears throat> this is a proposal with the knight of cups here but an emotional proposal okay so knight of cups is not really like oh wow we're getting married no that's what i'm saying but the knight of cups is definitely somebody who's gonna be like yeah baby i love you i want you what do we do next um this is also someone here who probably could be very moody. You know, that's something I need to tell you. This is someone here who's falling in love with you, but they're very moody. Um, someone, you know, who holds back their emotions a lot of times, okay? And, um, you know, they're not the best at opening up, okay? Because this person here could be someone, I'm just describing the person, take it out, resonates. This is someone here who probably, you know, um, if they don't want to be with you or if there is some conflict in the relationship, right? They would rather just lie to you and walk away that time saying, oh, things are okay. Why? Because they don't want to confront you or they don't want to open up to you and they don't want all that drama. They don't want, they want to avoid conflict. They want to avoid any kind of, uh, they want to maintain peace 
okay they want to maintain peace and they would resort to self destructive ways as in like if they want to tell you that something's not wrong or they can't commit to you or something can't work out in the relationship they rather zip it and walk away from you walk away in a way where they would just not tell you that time but then after a while you're like why aren't you communicating with me what's going on why aren't you messaging me why aren't you replying and that's when you realize something's happening so you're going to be the one who is usually the one who is like confronting them they won't confront you that's the kind of person who's coming back towards you which is probably going to make a few of you happy but a few of you is just going to give you clarity like yeah there you're back again right king of swords here <clears throat> i do feel that you are going to be uh, this is someone here who could be very logical remember the king of swords came out someone here who probably has the inner clarity they have the mental clarity out here about what they want so yes this kind of person here it could be very difficult for them to open up here but this person is someone here like i said very logical uh, someone who's strategizing someone who's going to be very straightforward and blunt but deep inside they have a lot of feelings <coughs> now because the knight of cups is on the uh, is um on the table and the king of swords is uh, as the overall energy so i feel this is someone here who's very logical very cold but this time around they're choosing to open up emotionally and come towards you <coughs> you guys are talking to someone right we saw that i was okay all this while so that's the kind of person coming towards you <coughs> queen of swords here boom <laughs> that's your energy uh the 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 middle 10 days of um the middle 10 days of november queen of swords you're going to be very blunt very cold uh very straightforward and you're going to get clarity here because we already see the sun card here you're going to get clarity here you're going to have this energy of where you're going to be like you know there's going to be clear cut communication from your side here okay i feel that there are chances you may cut this person off you may I feel you're just fed up of this person, and you may just cut this person off. Is what I'm getting here, okay? But this is definitely someone you're, you know, who you have cut off from your life, okay? And they're coming back, and you're still going to continue cutting them off because your tongue, ooh, you're gonna have a sharp tongue, all right? And I feel that you're gonna be a little aloof, a little emotionally distant from them, or you already have here. But you're in that very independent energy where you don't mind rocking the boat. What's the Queen of Swords here? <coughs> Apply for the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Eight of Wands here. I feel you're gonna cut communication off with this person here. Four of Pentacles. See, you're a close book. You're not wanting to entertain this person. So I feel that this person's gonna come in with an apology, or this could be a new person. Doesn't matter. Never mind. Right. <clears throat> according to the uh, story that i am being able to read here this is someone here from your past who you cut up could have cut off communication with they're trying to sneak back into your life you're pissed off you're angry you're going to be very cold very ruthless is what i'm getting for a few of you most of you and uh, you're going to be very harsh very cold hearted but you're going to cut that communication off and move forward is what i'm getting you're holding back you're gonna, you're being a close book i think you won't even respond to them when they message you okay you'll just probably either you've already had them blocked or uh if you don't have them blocked they will communicate with you and you'll probably leave them unread or you'll just completely whatever just watch it in the notification and ignore it but i feel you're just cutting this bullshit you're being you're in a very dangerous mode you know you're just trying to protect yourself and you're like you know what i've had enough of this i don't want to entertain no bullshit like this because i've seen this stuff this before okay and i don't want this but yeah you're close off to this person here in the middle 10 days out here <clears throat> last and a seven of swords here either you're walking away from this person here i'm getting more like let's see what's the seven of swords here just give me a minute Seven of Swords. I feel for a lot of you, you're moving forward, but you're moving forward in a very silent way. So maybe this person has no fucking idea that you're already moved, that you've already moved on, or that you're already over them, or that you don't want them anymore. Maybe this person here is coming in so sweetly, okay, to offer you this love, this emotions, this offer, opportunity, you know, whatever it is. But they don't even know what they're expecting. <laughs> they don't know what they have in front of them. They're not gonna expect this. I feel you're walking away. I feel you're sneakingly walking away. Like your intentions are to walk away. You may entertain this person just for a while, okay? Like a toy, um, you know, because this person's been mean to you. This person's done a lot of things. So you're in a vengeful mode. I feel you may just entertain them just to whatever, just um, revenge or something like that. Because the Queen of Swords is damn, she's vengeful. 
but I feel you're walking away sneakily and this person doesn't even know that you're doing that. They feel you still have that love for them. What's the seven of swords here? Yeah, right? That's what I said. <clears throat> you have the star, the high priestess and the king of pentacles here. I feel here that you have healed from this person out here. You've healed. You feel this person is not the positive direction for you. Yep. Queen of Wands here. You're in this very confident state of mind, okay? This person could be someone here who could have made you feel very insecure in the connection. This person here, um, you guys could have had a lot of explosive arguments. You, you, you know, this person always constantly made you chase them, okay? And uh, here you are now in your power, standing st tall, strong, and you're just like, you know what? You realize your worth, and now you're like, you know what? Fuck you. Now you're like, fuck you, you know? And now you're like, you've healed from this connection, whatever this past toxic connection was. You're ready to move forward because you feel this is a positive direction for you. You're moving towards a new direction. You've been literally like guided through the, guided by the universe to move forward and move away from this person because you feel your destiny is not this person, but your destiny is away from them and something else better is in store for them, for you. <clears throat> With the high priestess here, I feel that you're trusting your intuition. Your intuition is going to be pretty heightened. Uh, heightened by the uh, end of November here and I think with the king of pentacles here, you're not choosing this person you're choosing to focus on your career your goals your money here you're being very stable secure I think your career goal your money is going to be a focus stability security is going to be a focus here and not any knight of cups here you don't want no emotions anymore you want stability security even if this person is ready to offer it to you I feel that you're going to cut them off I don't feel you're entertaining them you're not you're walking away you're definitely walking away. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Communication coming in. But you're just going to be like, no communication for me. You're done. And um, <clears throat> no matter how much this person tries to push communication with you, I think you're just going to be like, nah, I don't think so. You're using your, lo uh, you're using your logic this time, you know. You're uh, being sneaky. You're uh, in stealth mode. You know, this person is literally going to be like, what the fuck does Gemini want? I mean, like. Yeah, I really feel this person is in deception this time around here, thinking or assuming in their illusions that you're still going to entertain them when they come back. You're already done. You're walking away. Cool. I like that. All right. So that's for you, Gemini. Hope this reading resonates and leave your comments below. Bye-bye. Comments below. Bye-bye. Comments below. Bye-bye. Comments below. Bye-bye.